Dusty Gus on the Rose, Bluesy Rock, first, uh, also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I was just like, oh, I, I was, I can remember first hearing Chuck Berry, uh, classic, uh, John Evan Good, like the very first time, I was just like, like, I mean, Chuck Berry to me, to me, he was like, God of, of the rock and roll, because he was the one that, that started it all. Uh, like, Chuck Berry himself, he was the man. That started the rock and roll crusade many years before, like guys like a, a Steve Ray, uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, or uh, a Big King. Uh, those guys came after Chuck Berry. Because anybody that comes before Chuck Berry, you're kind of like, well, do you know what Chuck Berry and why he? apart from all the other uh, rock and roll artists like Steve Ray He was the one that really made his music like out there. Because he to me was pioneer of rock and roll. Some of the big people they told him rock and roll music going to be good. And he, he was trying to put the, the R&B Allowed to be a rock and roll distinctive because his music, I mean, when you think of trying to be good, he was somebody that, that was like cool. Like, he, like his music had stood the test of time. There's no other artist in Chuck Berry's era could top what he had touched. When you think of a, a, a Chuck Berry, he's like up there. Steve Vaughan, he's up there. A B.B. King is up there. A Eric Clapton is up there. Now you got all these newbie, up and coming artists or one man or person or whatever. They think that, well, I could be at the next so and so in the next how many years. To me, you think that you're like the next big name artist? <sighs> like I said, there's no way to kind of touch Chuck Berry's status. Because Chuck Berry, to me, I mean, when you look at his legacy, I mean, the very next focus on peanut cartoons, all the music, all the guitar solo, and so much, and the rich, and the music, and the rock, and it was a the middle class African American I suppose was very he had dressed in the middle of the age of the Pope. Lawrence and some high school and some high school and some are armed robbers and they were born in Helen. I can't forget the first time I used it. Some of them too very like what we call it. Some of them like he had a terror so much of us because it was a little bit of Timo Walker in Florida with the Johnny Johnson Terriers breaking up. We traveled to Chicago we met Nine Waters. Nine Waters to me was like somebody who has seen it, done it. I mean, Nine Waters to me, he was like the next big thing after Chuck Berry. Because we have somebody like he and Nine Waters who can take Chuck Berry. Under his mean and kind of like mold him. I mean, Muddy Waters was just like probably way ahead of his time. It was just as a country lawyer, chest, a chest record, and the chest would be important to me. The application of the countryside, or other soil, and the public description of another one. We like to be able to live with him to be experienced. Thousands of silly hit records, and the person who appeared to turn career with some thousands of songs, and it was by Club Bear, Club Bath, that. But Jerry, within the three years of prison, he was third on the Matt Acton Trans. He, was, he had transferred 14 years ago across the lines after his visit. So, so he was cleaning up the boys when he was coming back home. And they deemed he did not choose with him because this was the last thing that He was just in the being paid in cash. And he was just in the commissary's tax. He, to 
to me was like first transitions to the inductions of rock and roll from the yeah. old from making a circle slayer, the way the crowd well, not only the rock and roll sound but the rock and roll stats. The the ceremonies and making the grace the small time rock and roll which were the similar regards of all time rock and roll three five years on the shape of rock and roll the three chunk years in general for me really rock and roll music. I mean, we were being told we should have been at this because we were being told when we first came on. I was just like, I think that, that should be like top two. That didn't fit. We were already told. I mean, it was back in making it 2017 when you played some two on one, one matters per year and you still have some incredible event. Stop to her and get back with a hill rock with celebration concert. Since it's been working with a keeper, there's a clap, and a change in the land, a rock clean, a long step. She played at Gibson ES 355, which we're in the ES. They gave her one of the tours. Keeper displayed black, and Metallicaster custom, gray offender, sarcastic clap, and Gibson ES. Same amount of being used on early recordings. I've done something with me the first few years and since brought me to the hotel, chilling with me since 2017 or 2013, but he's still in the chair of the child's very doing and kind of hung up covering this record. Well, when he passed away, it was just 